Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. In this tutorial, we will talk about how to customize ADS data display preferences. This is going to save a tons of your design time so that you can, you know, focus on your designs much better. Now, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, click on the bell icon to enable all the notifications. And after you watch your video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. All right, so let's go and talk about how can I customize my own custom set of preferences, not only for a specific workspace, but on a global level. Now here, to demonstrate the concept, I have this demo data display. And here you can see there are variety of plots. So you have a Smith chart plot. And usually, whenever you plot data on a Smith chart, you always see impedance circles. When we place a marker, you see the value normalized with C0. Right, that's the regular uh, reference. Also, sometimes when we do, you know, swept data analysis and we try to insert a line marker, you have a limitation that the line marker by default can be only placed for 25 traces. So if you have more than 25, um, you know, swept items there, the list gets truncated to the maximum of 25. Also, when we plot table, we always see magnitude and phase. But many a times when we are looking at the input impedance or any other that format data, we sometimes want to see real imaginary. And if you want to make any changes to these, we need to do our own um, you know, plot or preference manipulation. For example, if I want to unnormalize this um, data, I double click, I can go here and then unnormalize it to 50 ohm. And similarly, you can go and set the symbol option, the font options, and some other options as required. Similarly, for data on a table, if you want to see real imaginary, you double click on the data you're plotting, and then you change the format to real imaginary. But doing this one-off is okay. But when you are doing this repetitively, you are going to waste a lot of time. So what about if we can have a preference which we can define so that we don't need to do all these things every time we open a new workspace and we start a new design. Now to set some of these preferences, you can go to options, preferences, and here you can set preferences for trace, plot, markers, text equation, pictures, and all that. Under trace, there are a variety of options you can set. For example, every time you insert a trace, you want a solid line or you can choose some other format line. You can choose the thickness of the trace. Similarly, under plot, you can choose what you want to you know, display as a value tooltip or you can set some of the other options. For example, whenever you do an XY plot, you want the axis scale to be log. When you do a Smith chart plot, instead of only seeing impedance circle, you may also want to see admittance circle. When you plot a table or a list, you want to see not magnitude and degrees, but rather you want to see real and imaginary and so on. So you can go and set up as many options as you want. And here under marker, you will find the maximum number of traces for the line marker. And I can go ahead and increase this limit, let's say to 51. Now, once you define your preferences, uh, you say apply. Now, when you say apply, this preference gets saved for this particular specific workspace, all right? But what if you want to do some global settings? And here also, when you do plot under uh, or trace under parameter sweep, sometimes we want to have this kind of different line colors every time, uh, you know, one color for each sweep point. So we can also switch on sequencing. Now, whatever I have done will make it enabled uh, for this particular data display. For example, if I insert a Smith chart plot, and if I go and insert an S11 data on that Smith chart, now what you will see, you will uh, see the admittance circle because in my preferences and my plot under Smith, I use admittance. But if I want to see both, I can do both. And that way, when I insert a new Smith chart plot, in, in any workspace or in any data display in a particular workspace, every time you can see both admittance as well as impedance circles there. And also because of my preference setting, if I insert a marker, uh, you can see, you know, by default we have C0, but we could have set a preference under marker, uh, under format, and instead of normalized, I could unnormalize it 50 ohm by default. 
So that way, all the preferences which you are going to set, and this is kind of repetitive task, you do every time you open a new workspace and you know have a new data display. So once you define preference to make it globally applicable on your machine for all the workspaces in ADS, when you are in the preferences and you set everything, you can go ahead and save that preference file. It gets saved under your home directory HP soft config folder and the file name is DTS default.al. And once done, uh, every time uh, when you restart ADS and you create a new workspace, all these uh, preferences will be applicable for you. Now, if you go to that folder and look at this AEL file, if you give it to your colleague, he can also read the same preferences as you have done. And this file is readable in Notepad. You can open it in Notepad and look at the, all the settings which you have done. Now, if you pass this file to some of your colleague and he want to use the same preferences, he can go to option preferences, read uh, that file, and you can browse to that AEL file. And then he will also have the same preferences. Now, if I want to insert a line marker on this trace because we increase the limit, now you have no problem looking at more than uh, you know, uh, 25 traces. If I insert a marker on a Smith chart, it is automatically unnormalized uh, to, uh, you know, with reference to 50 ohm. And also, if we insert a new table, and if I, let's say, want to plot in S11 data, and I set the preference to real imaginary, so every time you plot a table, uh, you will see real imaginary instead of magnitude and angle. So, there you have it. Go ahead, create the preference which you typically want to use in your design, and you don't need to, you know, every time modify it on a workspace level or every data display level. Wish you all the best in your design. Hope this video was helpful for your work.